Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. As you guys can see by the title, we did match up against Ty Debo or Ty in an unlimited game. I was literally just playing, you know, grinding out some unlimited. As you guys see, we are 7-3, so we're not playing the best. And then I saw two-way Roko in his defensive setting. So this is going to be the gameplay of me versus Ty. We've played him, I think, four, five, maybe six times. I've kind of lost count. Played him a bunch of times in unlimited and a couple times in a tournament game. So can we finally beat the 250k champ? We'll find out in today's video. If you guys are new here, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe down below. I post two to three my team videos every single day and give you guys some of the best content on NBA 2K22, my team. So if you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe down below. Also want to give a big shout out to Ty. He's an amazing content creator in the 2K space, probably the best player on Xbox and one of the best players in 2K, my team in general. So make sure to go follow him on Twitch, go follow him on YouTube and go follow him on Twitter. I'll leave all his social links in the comments in the description down below. So make sure to go check those out. Just want to give a massive shout out to him. You know, every time I get to play him, massive shout out to him. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's an honor to play against the 2K. 50k champ without further ado time coming for you let's get on to the gameplay into the game against Ty Debo and honestly this is probably I think I said maybe an intro but I'm pretty sure this is our fifth or sixth time playing I think it's our third time playing unlimited or maybe their fourth time playing unlimited I'm pretty sure we've matched up in two tournament games so I will give you guys a little bit of a backstory or not backstory but a little bit of context of you know how my first games with Ty has gone so first game I played against Ty was a 10 point loss my second game against Ty was a 20 point loss and my third game was like another 20 25 point loss I think my fourth time I only lost by like 15 and then this time you guys will see what happens in the game so we, we are we are 0-4 I'm pretty sure against Ty which is very unfortunate and if you guys kind of already noticed about my voiceover and my gameplay talking for not my gameplays but for these type of videos when I do a voiceover it may not be exactly the commentary you guys might expect like oh curry around the screen curry driving in kick it over to deer up deer up looking to pass always gonna get the ball stolen I may commentate like a little bit like that but mainly I want to talk about some other stuff you know going on in 2k stuff about Ty, stuff about me playing comp all the other type of stuff other than just you know strictly about what's going on in the game but as you guys can see the game is pretty close it is 9-2-4 we still are in the game and we're only down by five points um and we're, we're continuing to fight so i will commentate a little bit play by play to start off the game because we did play really good so we're going to pass the ball over to terry dissinger who is going to green that to now put us to only a two-point game we're playing good defense here on his reggie lewis man he was absolutely cooking me with reggie lewis but we're going to play good defense there katie's going to grab the ball and we are running in transition see lebron going to pass it to terry dissinger almost turn the ball over going to call screen from lebron pass inside LeBron. LeBron is going to get blocked from behind by, I'm pretty sure, probably Giannis and Tenenkupo. He's going to look to drive in. We're playing some pretty good defense. He's going to stop, pop. Is he going to get that to go? No, he can't. We're going to grab that rebound with Terry Dissinger. Terry, the dentist, is running in transition. Can we find LeBron James on the wing? What can LeBron do? LeBron, he's got the speed advantage. He's going to drive by Deer up and take it all the way to the rack to get an easy dunk. It is now a tie ball game against Ty. Pretty good defense there on Deer up. We're going to force a pretty bad shot. We're going to grab the rebound with KD. Kevin Durant is running in transition. We're going to look for Terry Dissinger in the corner. We took that. Not a bad shot. We could have greened it, but we are going to grab the rebound. We're going to pass it back with Terry Dissinger. Honestly, not a bad shot. I'm not bad with that shot selection. I mean, maybe we could have got a better shot, but LeBron James is going to easily drive all the way and get two points at the bucket. It is now we are now we now we are down by two points. So not the best. I mean, well, honestly, pretty good. Not going to lie. I can't say it's bad. We're going to pull that with KD, and we pull that and green that. I know time must have been like, what the hell even was that? Um, I mean, maybe he wasn't, but I, maybe he must have reacted something like that because that was a crazy shot. I honestly, when I shot that, I was like, oh, what the hell? am i doing and then i greened it and i was like oh okay that worked d wade's gonna get the steal and he's gonna foul us in transition giving us two free throws at the line we are now up by three points with about 20 seconds left in the first quarter can we get a stop on ty he's driving in. he's gonna go up with kg kg is gonna get the easy layup to go over Dwayne wade and now we got about 13 seconds to score we are up by one point so honestly a one point game against ty in the first quarter we're gonna get the ball so no and he greens out with Penny Hardaway. He greens a Penny Hardaway fadeaway. And, and at this point, he goes up by two at the first quarter. And I was like, oh my God, he just greened out with Penny Hardaway. I'm like, it's not looking good. I was like, it is not looking good. But yeah, so the first time we matched up against Ty in the tournament, it went pretty well. I mean, we had a lot worse team than he, he did um, because this is when I wasn't having this account and didn't have this good of a team. Um, and, and by the way, this was in Unlimited. I may have explained this in the intro, but this was Unlimited. I think I was in the Sapphires here. He was streaming as well. Um, I, I went in the stream when I saw him matched up and then I kind of just left because I wanted to, you know, try a little bit. I didn't want to be, you know, too distracted by looking at Ty. We're playing good defense. And as you guys have seen in the game so far, we're actually playing really good. I mean, it's only a two-point game. And honestly, I was playing in the game. I thought I was doing decently, but I, th I didn't think 
I was doing, you know, didn't think I was playing my best possible game I could. I knew I could still play better. So I knew there was still more, you know, potential for me to reach in this game and where I could maybe even win this game or even keep it close throughout the game. So we're going to go up for the layup. Not a very smart idea there as his LeBron James, I'm pretty sure that is, is going to swat that out of bounds. Good seal though by my LeBron James. We're running in transition. We're going to find Terry Dishon. He's going to stop, pop, and green like that to go. And now we are up by one point. So, you know, back and forth between Ty Debo, I mean, against Ty, I mean, you, you kind of got to take that. I mean, this is the 250k champ. He wins a lot of tournaments. He's a very good 2k player. I mean, like, probably top three on Xbox. Maybe you guys could even say the best on Xbox next gen or current gen. I mean, I, I like Grussy a lot. I think he's a really good 2K player. Some other guys that, you know, have beaten Ty before or, you know, can, can really compete with Ty. I'm definitely not one of those guys. I will say that. I'm not a guy that's really going to compete with Ty. I give it, I give it my best shot, but I don't really have a chance to ever beat this guy. I mean, hopefully, maybe in my 2K career of 2K22 or even 2K23 or in the 2Ks to come, hopefully I can eventually beat Ty in a match. That'd be pretty cool, but it's something to beat Ty is you kind of have to work really hard at it. Not specifically Ty, but to get better at the game. Um, I will be honest, like, I haven't really been playing this game competitively. I don't remember the last time i scrim somebody um look at the shot he hits by the way what is that shot by rudy gay like when he hit that and he goes up by 10 points now i'm just like oh, okay well it, it's not looking good <laughs> that's what i was telling myself i was telling myself i'm like it's not looking good and the one thing i will say about ty and things i've talked about in the past times i've commentated over me and ty's games is this man on defense is just i just don't even know bro i i, I can't tell you man I, I literally don't know he sends the most wild rotations but they're the most smart and calculated rotations that i've ever seen because i can just tell from watching his streams and watching him play a lot they're the most calculated rotations but i don't even know where they are coming from i played against some of the top players on xbox some of the players top are, that are on top on ps but i played them on xbox so i played a lot of comp guys in the community like pretty much any comp player on xbox i've played against you can name ron you can name grussy you can name swag you can name phase you can name uh, who else is going on xbox i mean hayden's up there you know jc's up there hims he qualified i'm trying to think of people that qualified um a lollygag played him right all these comp guys that we've played literally tie defense is the one defense that i still cannot figure out how to be when i play the game I, by the way i'm not really talking about the game anymore because we are down by 21 kind of getting blown out so i just want to talk a little bit about you know ty's defense and stuff like that to give you guys because maybe you guys have never played tie before and you're kind of wondering you know is his defense actually as good as people say it is so i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of breakdown of actually how Ty plays so or not how Ty plays. I, that's what I'm trying to explain. I can't figure it out. So basically, when I play the game, the reason why I think I'm decent at the game is because I'm, I play very analyst style, and I can kind of pick up on, you know, what you're doing wrong and what you're doing good and, you know, what you're trying to do on offense and what you're trying to do on defense. And, and as the games go, as the game goes on, I think I get better over time. Like against Grussy, in my first tournament playing against Grussy, I was down like 20 points, and I had a 17-0 run because I figured out how he was running his offense, and I figured out how to stop it, especially when he brought Will Chamberlain in and he couldn't spread the floor out. So again, I'm a very analyst. I pick up on what they're trying to do what drill moves are doing you know what they're doing on defense and with ty i kind of know what he's doing on offense but defense i have i i don't know man i i literally <laughs> just look at my screen and i'm just like okay well you know his Kawhi just came from this corner and then i threw it to this corner and then his Giannis swinged around this way and then he brought this guy up to rotate and it's a steal and i'm like what or I'll, i won't even make the pass basically what ty does is he makes you think about every single pass so if you think oh that corner is open you're gonna pass it and then he's gonna steal it from out of nowhere and then the next time you see the corner open again you're not gonna pass it because you're so worried that he's going to steal the ball again so he kind of plays mind games with you without even trying to i guess or maybe he tries to but he basically plays mind games you have to think about every pass you throw i mean you guys are seeing the game he's pinching screens like where did his quiet lander come from where did his quiet come from and he had another guy rotating so basically guys, that's what i'm trying to explain as is ty's defense is absolutely insane but yeah guys that was the game we do end up quitting i hope you guys did enjoy this gameplay and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace